All right, in the last video, we set up our basic React application using Create React App. In this video, let's define our actions and action creators. Before we begin, I want to talk about one thing, and that is the folder structure. If you browse different articles or view different tutorials, they all are going to have a different folder structure for their React Redux application. There is no one right way when it comes to this. I will be using a folder structure that I feel is simple enough to get things started. I want your focus to be more on the concepts than the folder structure. Once you understand how it all works, you can come up with your own folder structure that suits your application needs. All right then, for this cake shop application, I am going to start off by creating a folder called Redux within the source folder. So everything to do with Redux will be contained in this particular folder. Next, what I like to do is create folders by feature. For our cake shop application, we just have the one feature, cakes. Let's create that folder. Within this folder, we are going to create a new file called cakeactions.js. It is within this file that we define our action creator. If you can recollect, we just had the one action creator, which is by cake. Let's define that now. Const by cake is going to be an arrow function that returns an action. What is an action? An action is an object with a type property. This is by cake. Now this works fine, but it is a convention to create constants for our action type. So within the same folder, which in fact I'm going to rename as cake, I'm going to create a new file called cake types.js. Here, all we are going to do is export a constant whose value is a string. So export a constant whose value is a string. Now back in our cake actions, we import it and change the action type to the constant. Import by cake from cake types and the action type is now the constant. Finally, we are going to export our action creator to be able to use it in our components. And that is pretty much it. We have defined our action, which is an object, and we have defined our action creator, which is a function that returns an object. In the next video, let's take a look at red users.